and the, as I said, they're trying to find an alternative track over there nowadays. And just on the left there, where the mountains are, that is the other side of the Black Mount. And that's where you'll find one of the earliest chairlifts in Scotland, going up to an area called the White Curries. The tow goes up to the first ridge, which is about where the cloud light is, secondary tow going right up high into the, into the clouds beyond there. And um, if the cloud lifts this afternoon, I'm sure there'll still be sufficient snow up in that area for skiing still to take place. I think it's going to merge with the Glen Sheet Chairlift Company as well, is that uh, particular uh, chairlift itself. No Herdsman, Shepherd, Guardian of Etiv, the glen that leads off to its left. And it does look a relatively easy mountain to climb, but many, many climbers find to their cost the price of underestimating the difficulty of these mountains and hills around here. Injuries, anything ranging from sprained or broken ankles, broken legs, broken arms, Others end up in the ultimate price. Well, it's only about five years ago that there were a couple of climbers killed when they were swept 1,500 feet down in an avalanche. And it must be about 12, 13 years ago now that there were uh, three bodies recovered off it in May that had gone missing on it in February <coughs> that, that particular year. And it was said that uh, the reason why it took so long to do the recovery was that they'd um, been discovered very shortly after the disappearance in a snow-filled crevice over 30 feet deep. They literally had to wait until the snow itself had sufficiently melted that they could make the recovery operation itself safe then. <laughs> 